Well, hello, gang, and welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII. I've been recording this quite a lot today. It's starting to get late. I may not be able to finish this in one session like I was hoping. But, uh, make no mistake. The list of objectives is getting progressively shorter and shorter. Uh, our first stop is actually going to be a detour. I was thinking about going to the Black Citadel, but I checked some stuff out. Because I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything too terribly important. And I'm not. But, there is at least two more things that we can do. That I would, uh, like to do. Because I have never actually done them before. Now... The first stop is going to be Red's house. We need to tell her goodbye with Yangus, right? Last time we were here, she was doing the high kicks for him. I'm not sure if she was trying to seduce him or legitimately trying to, to kick him in the head, but... This could be the last chance we get. Who knows what awaits us in that flying castle. There y'all. Red's been waiting for you. Yangus this, Yangus that. She's obviously got something she wants to get off her chest. Is that right? Still in your rocking chair as usual, eh, hey, Red? Hey, I'm the you first. You can't just leave it, can you? You've got guts, I'll give you that. I ain't. Look, we've got to go and do this thing is all. I just thought I'd come and say hello, before we had to go. <laughs> you think I don't know what you're doing? Old Brains told me. You're gonna fight Rapthorn, ain't ya? Oh. Oh, right. So you know then. Sorry I should have said. I won't be sorry if you get rid of him. He's a pain in the neck as far as I'm concerned. Gets in the way of me stealing. No one leaves home anymore. But you lot, you're having a laugh, ain't ya? Here, you better take me flail of fury if you're gonna stand a chance. How long have you had that and why didn't you use it against Captain Crow? But I'm only lending it to ya. Once you're done, I want it back. Hmm. I'll come looking for ya if you try and run off with it. Got it? Thanks. Don't you worry. I'll bring it back once we've done in that geezer. See ya. You take care, you yeah? How charming. Yangus obtains the flail of fury and puts it in the bag. I'd never actually seen this before because I generally uh, checked red. Only up to the point where she does her high kicks and then I never came back before. So... How are you getting on with the Flail of Fury? I'm only lending it to you, right? You haven't forgot, have you? Once everything's over with, I want it back. The Flail of Fury. I did read what it did. A present from Red. This Flail is capable of hitting multiple enemies in a single swing. It is quite powerful. It's not as powerful as the Axe, but... It does hit every enemy, so we are going to use it. It is difficult for me to give up that axe, make no mistake about it. That is a powerful weapon. And I may actually end up going back to it. But we'll see. The next stop is going to be Argonia, because I have an assassination mission that I have promised the princess I would carry out for several videos now. I've probably brought it up in at least six or eight videos in this entire playthrough. And wouldn't you know it, it's night time. The perfect time of night for assassinating a portly, tubby little pile of grease that must be snuffed out. Apparently also the bazaar here is gone. It's kind of, uh, sad. You may remember this building. I brought this, I mentioned this building whenever we came here. I was curious about it. Well, I looked up what it was, because I didn't want to miss anything. 
And once you get the flying, the flying continent out there, apparently most of it moves in here. And you can buy a bunch of items and stuff during the day, but we're not here for the daytime shenanigans. Oh no. Came here at night for a very specific reason. And it is most assuredly not just to smash up barrels and pots. Because you know what? I ain't ashamed. A mini metal. I'll smash that shit right in front of him during the daytime. Sorry, but the stall's closed now. You'll have to come back tomorrow. And then we'll tell you and show you what we're selling. What I really want is up here somewhere. This is another thing I did not know about. Again, I wasn't entirely sure. Is it up here? Is it this? I wasn't entirely sure what this building was for. Maybe it's this. Maybe I am in the completely wrong place. In fact, I think I am now. Okay. Time out! That place is just a new bazaar. If I'm not mistaken. Where I really want to go, and I was honestly only going in there for the mini metal, I swear. I totally knew what I was doing this whole time. I wasn't remembering what I read incorrectly. No way. Where we really want to be is the inn here. I'm curious who figured this out. I'm guessing they were just com they were completely running around all on their own, perhaps. I think we want to go to the inn if I'm in the right place. Want to go into one of these rooms? Am I in like completely the wrong place? Where the hell? I have to read this again. Hang on. Get the flail. Leave Red's house. Go to Argonia. Head to the northwest building. The one above the church that was unoccupied. Now houses the Argonia Bazaar. Okay, did that. Small secret dungeon available. All you have to do is go to the inn and choose to sleep until evening. During the night, go up the stairs outside the inn and into the house at the top. Okay. We're not going to sleep at the inn yet. Apparently, I needed to read that once more. Reading it an hour ago or so. It's not good enough for my shitty memory. Spooky that there's no music. It's like, who would come back here? After all was said and done and the flying continent was up there, who would come here... And see this mirror. Randomly barely glowing that would teleport you to a secret dungeon. A dungeon I've never seen before. And I'm interested in exploring it with you guys. Because I'm really not looking forward to the flying continent. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to end the game. A boss troll and a king cure slime. I need one of those for my monster team. Plump. You are going to... Falcon slash. I'm. Actually, we need to take out the King Slime. Yangus. Also. Everybody, show no mercy. We're not in a boss fight. Angelo. Don't let anyone hit the floor, okay? Keep them fighting and we'll consider you golden. Already dead. Now, the boss troll is definitely the one from the arena, which I believe could do a very powerful desperation attack. If we somehow get unfortunate enough. Come on, Angelo. I was going to say put him to sleep, but I guess an arrow through the heart is good enough. <laughs> I don't know where to go. This place is... a little bit confusing. There's something really big moving back there. I don't know what it is. It almost looks like a three-headed hellhound, but it's white. 
Genuinely, they're like black with red eyes and stuff. Almost like Sir Leopold. Cyclops and boss trolls. Oh, let me run. I'm going to try to run one more time. And then I'll try and pick my party up off the ground. After we get clubbed to death. Thank you. I'm going to cast my placebo spell. The spell that makes me feel better about running around. Holy protection. We already know the goddess doesn't exist. She's not really going to protect us. Inside this is... A hell saber. Well... What the fuck is that? I'm gonna guess it's cursed. It's got the word hell in it. A narrow bladed weapon with a devilishly sharp blade. I'm not equipping that just yet. I may equip it outside the dungeon. Trolls appear in a boss troll. No. Definitely no. Not at all interested in that. I need what I need to do before we go to the floating continent too is I need to figure out how to Well, I already know how to uncurse. I guess I should say I need to figure out what to uncurse. What is actually useful and what is simply going to be a waste of time at this point. That's what I'm terrified of, shit like that. Doing a ton of damage. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Stop. You mean ass critical hits. I'm going to try to run away once more. Oh, we're fucking dead. This might be the first time me being stubborn as hell actually works against me. I can't fight. There's no way. <sighs> Yangus and Angela will definitely die with Plump and Jessica. Pretty damn close. I mean, I don't have any money, so dying wouldn't be that bad. Or, I could have Plump just Omni-heal everyone, and we could actually fight and survive. I'm not going to leave it up to RNG. You assholes wanted to waste my time. Wanted to almost kill us. In fact, you probably should have killed us. Making me actually have to stop my stubbornness in its tracks. 88 points of damage. I thought that was supposed to hit all the enemies. Every single one. Not just one. Uh, plump. Damn. My biggest regret with Plump is not having any real good AoE attacks for him. I'm gonna zap. I mean, 86, basically 80 damage on all of them is pretty damn acceptable. Oh, crap. Hang in there, Yangus. Get the fuck out of here, Cyclops. Tried to be nice. I hate I hate when the enemy makes me kill him. I'm I don't I'm trying to be a pacifist, okay? There's enough evil in the world. With Dual Magus and Drapethorn. Even Sir Leopold's existence adds to the overall evil in the world. Before he ever even got the scepter. Quit clubbing me. It's not club time. There we go. He hits the entire group. Uh you're going to die this time. I had enough of you. Troll A. That's what you'll forever be known as. Worthless, worthless monster. You don't even get a real name. Boss Troll A. I 
Good experience. Bostrol drops a treasure. It's special medicine. And nobody cared. Jess, I'm not going to top you off, so don't disappoint me. This looks like a freaking long path. Troll, troll, boss troll. Oh my god, the, the escape rate on these things. They really do not want you to run away here. And I am not going to try intimidation. Maybe the bigger the enemies are, the harder it is to run away. They like surround you, build a wall of meat. What I need is a party built around instant death abilities. I need the death dance. Um, let's go back this way. <laughs> Do they lead to the same place? No. Fuck. I got psyched out! I don't care if running is bad, and it counts against my escape karma. I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm scared to check the battle records at this point with as often as I've ran away. A desperate attack, because of course he does! And another desperate attack. I'm going to run. They already made me get into one slugfest. <sighs> I don't like this dungeon. I'm slightly curious what is waiting for us down here that's actually moving. More trolls! So that's the only thing in here. Oh my god. I got away on the first time? It's amazing. Unfortunately for me, I've got to check absolutely every treasure chest because it could be a good weapon. We're at that point. Boss, troll, and troll. This is one of those ones where I should just fight it. There's only two of them, Plump. They're trying to run away. Just brutally murder them instead. Spray their troll guts all over the area. Another mini metal. Okay. I still don't think that's seven. I think that's two or three since our last turn in. More trolls. Okay, regular trolls, fine. If that's how it's going to be. I traumatize my viewers. That is good. I do like that weapon. It makes me... I'm, I wonder if any of the... I wasn't thinking about what I was doing there with Plum, but I wonder if that weapon takes advantage of any of Yengus' skills. What would that fall under? Does he have a mace or a flail category? I know he's got axes, scythes, and hammers. Experience is so not worth it. Oh goody. It's more fucking trolls. Of course it is. Uh, does anybody need mana? That's another thing I'm gonna have to go stock up on before we go to the continent. Help me! I'm begging you! I'm the Chancellor of Argonia! If we if we don't get out of here, we'll be in a troll's belly within the hour! I have too much to live for. Don't let us die here, please. I was wondering why you guys weren't in the house. The door is shut tight. Eek! You there, you must help us. I can't die before I've seen my beloved son, Lorenzo, again. I haven't seen him in ages. I don't want to be made into a maid stew. I don't want to die here. I want to talk to your husband, the Chancellor, not you, ma'am. 
The fellows from Prince Charbel's initiation ceremony. Yes. Don't you remember me? I'm the Chancellor of Argonia. This must be fate. You were meant to find me here. Um, is that so? You have to help us. We'll be at Troll's dinner at this rate. Can't you overpower them? Maybe, but I need you to do me a favor in return, Chancellor. There's a particular person in your kingdom that I feel needs to be disposed of, and you might be in the best position to make it happen. He stares at us, curious, but deep down knowing exactly who we mean, and he wonders why he put it off for so long himself. Nothing in there, really? Don't mind me, I'm just the barrel inspector sent from topside. Fee fi fo fum, juicy humans in my tum. The boss troll is so engrossed in his cooking that he doesn't notice he has company. Actually, that was voiceover from the narrator, but whatever. I. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's what we're going with? Okay. We'll be about to eat. Maybe you be joining us. Or if you here to get in the way. No. I'm... Wait. If I say yes, does that mean I'm joining them? Or if I say yes, does that mean I'm here to get in the way? Which... Game! You can't... You've got to be more specific when I'm giving answers. I mean, come on. Uh... Yes. What? <laughs> you is. Then let's be seen how strong you be. <laughs> We trolls don't be knocking toughens. <laughs> You's looking a bit tough. <laughs> How about you just leaving us be? Too many cooks. Too many cooks. <laughs> This game came out so much, like, so many years before that little skit. That's fucking great. How about I believe in you, B? No, I think I'm going to cut off all of your nipples for my troll nipple collection. You is wanting to eat my dinner. Sure. No! You is not having it. No! 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 That does look like a troll face. I will give them credit. Two boss trolls? Surely you've got something up your sleeves. Um. Let's see. Everybody's basically topped off. How about. I called the team. Mushroom Squad, assemble. It's your greatest challenge yet. Not getting clobbered in the head. 300 damage. And stabbing them trolls in their bellies. Gotta abort them troll babies! Stab it with a pitchfork! <laughs> oh my god. That's what I'm talking about, those 300 hit point crits. I don't like that. Cure knows what's going on, though. I do wish this team didn't feel so RNG in the arena. They're a damn good team. Not even sure who I should replace. I don't feel that I can replace Cure. 
I don't really want to replace either of my heavy hitters, though. If I replaced any, it would probably be Archdemon for his dumb ability to continue to attempt casting spells well after he's out of MP. They did good. They got us down to one. Go to sleep, boss mom. Or not, I don't care. I'm gonna kill you anyways. That sword. I'm gonna be sad if I have to give it up. 11 MP. There we go. That's the type of fucky I'm talking about. Killed for 40 points of damage, basically. Are you about ready to die yet, troll? You put up a good fight. You really have. I'm proud of you. I feel like you're just being stubborn now. And as I talked about earlier, being stubborn is not always a good thing. Now you're just embarrassing yourself. Clubbed to death by Jessica. 2,000 experience. Yangus levels up to 35, 12 hit points. Who cares about his other stats? As if he needs wisdom. Humanity up to 95. And clubs to 74. He becomes an armor cracker. He improves his heartbreaker technique and masters skull crusher. Sounds pretty sweet. Jessica levels to 34. 12 hit points. 9 wisdom. 7 skill points. Sex appeal to 93. Probably won't learn anything else from it until 100. She becomes a staff magician. She learns... Cate I always pronounce this wrong. Catechus, I think. Is that how it's pronounced? I think that's the twin snakes wrapping around each other. Generally used on healing supplies and things like that. One of the oldest symbols known to humanity. If you is not here, I'd be having a scrumptious dinner now. But I is a troll. So, maybe this will be just a dream. What? Maybe. Honestly, we we're inside a mirror. Thank you. Anything's Thank possible. You. If you hadn't come along, I'd have been in a troll's belly by now. What a waste to end up a troll's dinner after all my hard work to become Chancellor of Argonia. <sighs> I expect you to uphold your end of the deal, Chancellor. You know what we agreed to. I must repay you for this. What could I give you? Of course. Here, I'd like you to have these. Two seeds of strength and three seeds of life. Seeds like that kept me alive in the cell. How many did you eat? Well, I should be getting back. Farewell. These are priceless mystical nuts. Permanently enhance your genes. And you're just casually munching on them in here? Absolutely nothing in there. Wonderful. Okay, well, that was a nice little detour. Thankfully, I can evac. I would be really sad if I couldn't. The mistress refused to sleep in the same room as that mirror. So now I have to sleep in here instead. They should just get rid of it, but they say it's too valuable to throw away. Of course. Rich people and their silliness. We have a cursed odd demon item in the house. Our house was built on an Indian burial ground. Who cares? 
Property value is going up, honey. We have to stay here for at least another five years. Just a few minutes later, and I'd have been at Troll's dinner. I hope I never have to go through that again. Where's your wife sleeping at? Am I going to have to go out on the balcony to find her? She's down here in the maid's room. Oh, shoot. I love it. Good stuff. Good little bonus dungeon. And it's daytime, basically. Let me go ahead and rest. This will probably be a short video. Because really the only thing left now that I can do is either Moria's Monstrous Pit, which I'm not going to do because it feels like it's so much RNG. I'm so scared. I can't stand living under a sky like this. It's stained the color of blood. Oh, hi, princess. Does this mean we're nearing the end of our journey? We can only hope so. One way or the other, right? Being cursed seems trivial compared to the thought of Rathborn ruling over the world. You know, I can actually understand why she would think that Rathborn is going to succeed. So far, we have actually failed at every turn to stop him. We killed Duel Magus. Didn't matter. Sir Leopold gets the staff after Jessica has the staff. Nothing we have done has actually stopped him. Or slowed him down, really, it seems like. We've always been one step behind him, trying to catch up, despite the fact it might seem like we've been doing good. <laughs> we have not been. We've been doing horrible. That's why you have to defeat him. Everyone's lives are at stake. I know. I'm gonna try. Do you think I'll return to my normal self if you win? Yes. Yes, I do. Or do you think I'll have to spend the rest of my days as a horse? I don't think you'll have to be a horse. Once everything is peaceful again, I want to travel the world together with you. Even if the curse isn't lifted. Because that way, I won't have to marry that awful man and lose you. It's okay, princess. I've talked to the Chancellor. I've freed him from a troll dungeon. You wouldn't believe it. You really wouldn't. I think that our problem is going to be dealt with very soon. I'd be happy to spend the rest of my life carrying you on my back and taking you wherever you wanted to go. But I can zoom. If that happens, please take care of me. I'd never leave your side. I promise. I guess in that case, we would just have to live here by the mystical spring. I trust you had a restful sleep. No, not really. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of creepy even still when the princess comes into my dreams. It's pretty neat, but, uh, like I said, kind of damn spooky. There's a whole dreamland out there. I haven't read about this in any of the mystical journals that we've ran across in the game. No one has mentioned the dream world. I think we can agree it actually exists. What are you selling? Hello, welcome to the Yagdrasir Leaf Shop. Now let's see, 1,000 coins. Of course, I already have one still. What are you selling, ma'am? Anything useful? Gold bracers and gold rings. Scholars, specs, ruby of protection. I think that is used for crafting in the alchemical pot as well. What about you, Mr. Items? Everything you could want to make cheese. I'm going to kick myself when you guys in the comments tell me just how great cheese is. If only I would have attempted it. If only you would have uploaded these videos as you were recording them, Plump. We could have given you all the helpful advice and spoilers in the world. Why, you wouldn't have had to look up anything or jog your memory at all. We would have told you everything. None of this stuff is useful. Possibly again in crafting. Which I'm really not going to do that much more of. Zombie's Bane, Falcon Knife, 
What I would like to get, and I don't know if I'll get it off screen or not, but I would like to get the Falcon Blade from the Baccarat Casino. In fact, if I get my ass kicked in the, uh, in the floating continent, I will probably get the Falcon Blade and attempt to farm some levels with metal slimes off screen. Just spoilers for you guys. Oh man. I do love this game, guys. I hope that throughout this playlist you've had as much fun in the journey with uh, me and the characters as I have had with them. I'm sorry that I couldn't record this in real time with you guys like I normally do. But I actually kind of enjoyed this maybe more than regular Let's Playing. Where I upload everything as I go and sometimes there's like three month, four month, or six month long breaks between videos. So that people become basically disinterested and detached from the story. This is a much better format for you guys. In my opinion. And me. Uh, is there anywhere else I need to land? You know, there's Metal Slimes in Trodane Castle, too. I don't remember anything up there. Could go see Jessica's mom. When's the last time we saw her? Actually. Could go see Reyes. She was another one in those cutscenes. Could go see the old man by the Mystical Spring, too. Do you think that they have cleared the blockade in the back of town? Let's go check real quick. This may be something that they don't clear until uh, end game. Like once you beat the game and you can keep playing. Maybe it's bonus, a bonus dungeon or something. Still not cleared. They really are lazy, aren't they? Well, what do my stats look like? We're all healed. We're all rested up. I think I'm going to end the video here. A little bit prematurely from the hour mark. But whenever we come back, we are legitimately going to go attempt the, the floating continent. The floating castle, whatever they want to care call it. We're going to go see what woke up from that statue. And if we have any hope of actually defeating it in our current form.